Okay, so we have David Hume. To understand what Hume is trying to do, we should try to understand what question Hume is trying to answer. This is going to be key to figuring out what all the philosophers we're going to study this semester are doing. You try to figure out what question that philosopher is trying to answer and what the philosopher believes answers that question. Now, you might initially think that the question he's trying to answer is, how should one live one's life? And in a way he is, but he's not doing so directly. In fact, none of the philosophers that we look at this semester are going to answer this question directly. They're always, always, always going to answer this question, how should, you, how should one live one's life, right, with a different question, right, a second question. Depending on how that question is answered, that determines the answer to the question, how should one live one's life? Okay, so what's the second question then? What's the second question Hume is trying to directly answer in order to answer this one? Now you might think that the question is, uh, are any moral beliefs objectively true? Now Hume very definitely has an answer to that question, sure, but that's not the question he's trying to answer, at least not directly. He's trying to answer something else directly. Maybe you think that is, can moral beliefs be true or false? Again, he has an answer to that, but not directly. Okay. He is trying to answer something else instead in order to answer the question, how should one live one's life? All right, well, what's the second question? Well, for Hume, what he's trying to do is he's trying to answer the question, what justifies moral beliefs? What justifies moral beliefs? And depending on what the answer to that question is, that will help you determine how you should live your life because you simply need to look at those moral beliefs which are justified. So according to Hume, then, this is the point of his whole project here. According to Hume, what justifies moral beliefs? What actually is going to tell us right, what, are, what are the moral beliefs we should hold on to? And for Hume, more beliefs are justified by passions. They're justified by your desires. They're justified by what you want.